I get so excited when Dr. Yoon's on. So welcome back. Every month, the world of beauty and skincare continues to zig while we're zagging. So who better to keep us on the right path with some of these claims and trends online that are than our favorite holistic plastic surgeon. Dr. Tony Yoon, welcome back to DBL. Thank you so much. Love talking to you, Doc. So leave it to TikTok to show us the latest beauty trends, and this one makes our stomach turn here. Ooh. Well, some of us. People are grabbing oh snails from their yard and putting them on their face. <gasps> Is that the snail from the never-ending story? Where did they get these things? Uh, why are they so big? Why are they doing this, Doc? So this is an actual snail facial, and the idea is that snails have snail slime, which is the snail mucus that actually has been used all over the place. Uh, you see it actually in a lot of Korean skincare. And there is truth to the fact that snail mucus contains great moisturizers of the skin, they're anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, but I wouldn't necessarily just go out to your yard and grab a snail and slap it on your face. There's always a risk of infection <laughs> and uh, sensitivities to that as well. Wow, you snailed oh it. God. You snailed it. All right, here we go. From snails to cats. All right, guys, you don't have to say oh. From <laughs> snails to cats, people are getting, are you ready, cat eye surgery. No. Okay, what is this and is it a good idea or a bad idea? So cat eye surgery is an operation, like and sometimes it's actually just done with threads, where you literally will thread or suture basically your eyebrows to look like this. <gasps> what? Now, yeah, here's one. Yeah, here's an example of it. You can do it surgically called the canthopexy, where you actually detach the corner of your eye and you reattach Whoa. the eyelid higher like that, in which case that's permanent, Ugh. or threads are being used. There are certain celebrities that you may guess that kind of look a little like that for a while. Yeah, Madonna looks like that. Yes. Threads done. So the is yeah, it healthy? And that lasts maybe six months. Is that healthy it's for not you? Something, it's not something that I recommend uh, because those threads themselves can leave scar tissue behind. And you're talking, like I said, maybe a six month uh, outcome and they're very expensive. Okay. So really it's a buyer beware situation with those. Got it. Okay, speaking of buyer beware, I am very disturbed by this because I had never heard of this. Ghost, we've heard of ghost writers, but ghost doctors is what's making headlines. What is a ghost doctor? So the story of a ghost doctor is you go meet a plastic surgeon, they say, hey, let's go ahead and do surgery, and then you see them before the operation, then you get wheeled in, and then at some point in the operation, they exit the room and somebody else comes in to either perform the surgery or to finish the operation. Now, I know of a, uh, of a doctor who was masquerading as a plastic surgeon, had two operating rooms going in his office on the weekends, staffed by his residents, where the residents would perform the breast oh, augmentations. He was actually no. an ear, nose, throat doctor. -uh. The residents were performing breast implant surgeries <gasps> while he was kind of going back and forth, just kind of overseeing them. But he was an ear, nose, throat doctor. He doesn't have any training in it anyway and patients had no idea. Is that legal and ethical? Probably not, Sam. There are, <laughs> there are many hospitals where you have uh, doctors like orthopedic surgeons and other types of surgeons who do have two operating rooms going at once. Sometimes it's the residents doing it. The true ghost doctor phenomenon you hear about in Asia where actually it is a switcheroo where you don't even know somebody else is operating on you. Um, usually in hospitals and residency programs, they will let you know that yeah, the resident or chief resident may perform small parts of the operation Part of it's just kind of the, the medical system and medical training. Good Lord. So how would someone even know if their doctor used a ghost doctor on them? You don't. That's the problem. You know, it, it's, that's why it's called a ghost doctor is a lot of times you don't. And with cosmetic surgery, it's the wild west of medicine. You have to be very careful. If you're at a place that seems like it's like a fast food, a plastic surgery, they're just getting people in and out, in and out then you got to wonder if this may happen to you and if they're going to be honest with you about it. Um, so it's something you just have to be very cautious and make sure that you go with your gut instinct. If it's telling you that there's something fishy going on here, definitely look elsewhere. Mm. You got to put Lord. an Apple tracker on them. I was going to say, or put you a put camera. It, yeah, be like, hey, why were you at camera? Quiznos put during my, Put a camera yeah. during an operation. On your gown. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Doc, a new trend on that TikTok is the top or bottom teeth talker. Now, has anybody come to you wanting to change their jaw to an, to an overbite or an underbite just for the look? Not necessarily, although my jaw used to actually stick out really far and I had surgery between high school and college to break my jaw and set it Whoa. back. Wow. Otherwise, I would look very differently than I do now and you probably wouldn't have me on your show, honestly. No, we love Stop uh, it. But, That's not true, Dr. Yeah. Yeah. But this isn't a, but, but this isn't technically a cosmetic operation. It's just the way your, bot, your, your face is. And sometimes it is 
on the extreme where you can get orthopedic surgery to actually break the bones and, and reset them. And that's something that's being performed all the time. Oh, wow. Okay. I had a very bad underbite and I had twin blocks. One retainer here, one here, four blocks, and they had to mesh it. And that's how and I, you had a bowl cut. And too. I had a bowl cut as well. I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The picture. Yeah. Okay. Well, you look fantastic now. Nobody feels <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Yoon. It worked. It worked. <laughs> Dr. Worked. Yoon, we always love having you on. DBL Nation, make sure you follow Dr. Yoon across all social media, Dr. or Tony Yoon, MD, rather. Also, be sure to pick up a copy of his new book, Younger for Life, wherever books are sold. Thank you again, Doc.